Hey guys, it's me, Good Chains, and welcome back to the YouTube. And today's YouTube video, we're going to be showing you guys how to make any Minecraft server available for cracked clients. And uh, cracked client is a uh, client that is running the demo version of Minecraft, also known as they haven't paid for Minecraft. So essentially, um, turning off online mode will be uh, essentially allowing people that haven't purchased Minecraft to play your Minecraft server, which on one hand, it's probably going to boost the amount of players joining your server. Um, on, on the other hand, it does pose some security risks. Um, these security risks is it makes it easier for bot attacks, DDoS attacks, and all these other attacks that could be coming to your server. So before going ahead and doing this method on disabling the online mode, or online mode is the authentication process that Mojang provides to your Minecraft server for absolutely free, you're removing this authentication process that Minecraft provides to you, and you're essentially removing all of the security that Minecraft provides to you. However, there is some workarounds by using Minecraft plugins such as Xprotect. I've done a YouTube video on Xprotect before, and uh, it, it allows you to get that protection back through a Minecraft plugin and not have to worry about security issues when you're using offline mode and allowing your cracked users to join. I only suggest disabling online mode if you have players that really want to play without purchasing Minecraft, etc. Because it does still pose security issues even if you have those plugins, but the plugins definitely make it more secure. Anyways, enough rambling on, let's get into how to um, disable online mode. So we're going to be coming to our server.properties here. Uh, so revive node uh, actually has this cool little feature where you get to easily edit your server.properties. Uh, by the way, you can use code glitch for 15% off revive node servers at the checkout. 50% off is huge, especially since the servers are already so cheap, starting at $1 per gigabyte, which is absolutely mental. You can get a professional server started up for less than $10, to be fair, um, with bungee cord and all. So I definitely do recommend checking out revive node. The links will be in the description. But anyways, guys, let's come over and we're going to go to our server.properties. It's really nicely put out here and we're actually going to have to find where it says online mode i think it's near the bottom there it is online mode and it's really made really easy true or false and you hit that on false and you hit save now there obviously is an alternative if your server isn't as cool as revive node you can just go to file management and this is how any other host would work so some hosts have that but any other host, you just go over to your server.properties. Every host allows you to edit your server.properties. And you just come over and you'll find... We're going to come down to the bottom. And here you can see it's already been set to false. So we don't need to change anything. But that's how you would do it if you're not as cool as Revive Node. Now, the next step is to go back to your console and hit restart on your server. We'll be back with you when the server's restarted. ASMR. Ooh. Okay guys, so the server has gone ahead and started up so we can go and direct connect to it and it's gonna force me to use a texture pack because that's from our last video where we actually showed how to force a texture pack which is really cool. Ready? Watch the set texture pack's gonna change. Boom! If you want to see how to do that on your server, go check out the last video. I'll I'll put it right here. Boom! Boom! I card right. The my good lord! Oh my! Anyways, guys, you can now access the server even if you're not using the premium version of Minecraft. So essentially, your cracked users can now join. However, the downside to this is. All users, even premium users, now are stuck with the Steve skin. Uh, so we're actually going to be doing a video next Tuesday, so stay tuned for that. Next Tuesday, we're going to be doing a video on uh, how to restore skins um, and how to get your old skins back and not be... We're going to die. We're going to die. Oh, my God. We're going to die in the hub of my server. Um, oh, it's a sheep. The sheep won't kill me. Hide behind the sheep. Hide behind the sheep. My god, what's happening? There's creepers exploding. I'm just trying to hide behind my sheep. 
but like I was saying guys next Tuesday we're gonna be doing a plugin tutorial on how you guys can restore your Minecraft skin uh, so as you can see I'm a Steve I'm gonna restore it to my uh, glitch games um, self I'm gonna kill the sheep because it's not helping defend myself anyways guys um, I hope you enjoyed in today's YouTube video. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Once again, uh, if you turn on post notifications, uh, if you won't actually miss the uh, next video already. Uh, boop. Uh, I died. That's a great way to end off the video. See you guys.